right, welcome back everyone. So Days Gone, the new game by Sony Bend, released a kind of like story, I guess, announcement trailer um, earlier in the show. It was the second game that was showed off. Um, and now, to end the show, they decided, you know what? We are going to let you play a full gameplay demo of your game and show it off. And uh, I like that. I like the fact that we can get, we can look earlier in the show and get a story kind of trailer to get a feel for the tone of the game. And then later on, we get a feel for the gameplay and what the moment to moment stuff is going to be like. So I did a live reaction, of course. So let's go ahead and check it out. Thank you for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Day's gone. Okay. Okay. Great fucking conference, guys. Just be really... A live demo of Days Gone, which means they are really impressed with this game. God, how does this game look like this? Oh my god, this looks so good already. I like it when they do that, when they show the guy actually playing it. Excuse me. Jesus. Go on. Get out of here. Get out. Oh, God. Oh, oh that ain't him. What? Honestly, the walking animations are on Nathan Drake's level. Oh, oh, shit. oh shit. Two dog. So smooth. Oh shit! Oh, you use it to silence the. Of course. Oh my god, this game. Is this open world? You know how this is good. It is. End. It has to. Oh my goodness. Where you at? Look at how many of them there are. Let, let him. There's so many on screen. How do they do that? Oh my god, this looks. This is like Daisy.
really smart. Look how many of them there are. This is insane, and they just keep on coming. This is probably this is probably so chaotic and hectic to play. Jesus Christ. Run. You're about to die, bud. Oh my god, they just keep on coming. And they're not slow either. They're oh my god. And the music isn't helping either. Oh my god, goddamn reload. Oh my god, he's right on your ass. You know, I'm really impressed with this demo for multiple reasons. One, obviously, the world itself looks absolutely gorgeous. The detail, the image quality, um, you know, we're reaching a level of, obviously, we, we're hitting a cap at 1080p with the PS4. We're not really going above that. But there's something that they're doing to make every single image, every single asset, every single little thing they put inside of that world look that much more detailed. And I don't think it's just because it's 1080p. I don't know, there's something that they're doing with lighting or with effects or with just anti-aliasing, I don't know. Uh, but it's damn, damn impressive. And uh, obviously I like the fact that you have this motorcycle, it kinda is like your buddy and you get to travel around with that everywhere. Um, I really wanna know how deep some some of the some of the resource management if there is any in this game because one of the things that really strikes me one of the things that really makes me excited to play a zombie game is kind of like grounding me in that world right so if i'm out of supplies i go and i go get supplies and maybe it's in a place where there's hundreds and hundreds of freaking zombies and i have to somehow find a way to get in distract them do whatever i have to do throw a bomb whatever create a uh, start making noise somewhere else and have them go that way and then sneak in and grab the supplies grab water grab food whatever i need to get and i walk around with a backpack whatever um but maybe that's not this type of game but if you're if you're creating an open world game then maybe maybe give us stuff to do i mean that's just <laughs> uh, we only saw a portion of it and what we saw is incredibly impressive so graphically the game looks amazing um from a gameplay standpoint i like the fact that um they're using tech to really impact the gameplay right so you have a lot a lot of zombies just running at you right and um what's one way to solve that so you can uh, create an obstacle you can um you can go a certain direction where they just can't get to uh, there's some things that humans or able-bodied humans are able to do that maybe zombies can't uh jump from from one end of the building to another i mean from one building to another and um i think i think as long as they mix it up uh then it'll create that third person you know, gunplay, just that much more interesting. The only thing that did worry me a little bit was definitely the feel of the gun. Um, I don't know if it was a, if it's a thing that they're still working on, but it felt very like uh, Uncharted 2 for me in the way that it was just spraying everywhere. Um, and it didn't feel like it had a, much of a kick, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like I, I don't know. I just like guns that feel like, like that. And um, that was just a, a quick little note, but it could be a nitpick. I have to go back and check it out. 
But man, that demo overall had a lot of things. Obviously, you go over to this truck, you pick up the hood, and then suddenly you reach your hand in there, and then you get this jar, you put it against your gun, and it's suddenly a compressor and um, you could, a silencer or whatever. Um, and you could take shots at people and have the zombies not listen to you. I mean, that's really, really smart. And this is an aspect of the game that I really hope they include, some aspect of exploration and looking for supplies like that that could be useful or just casually coming across one and making certain, um, making certain things that are extremely, extremely valuable. I don't know, like if that, if that jar was a silencer was extremely valuable, there's not too many of them then, you know, make sure there's not too many of them, right? Uh, just make sure there's a scarcity of certain things and it makes the exploration that much more fun because when you actually find something, it's it feels rewarding. It's like, yes, I took the time. I went all the way this way. And, um, you know, you don't have to get full-on RPG, full-on crazy. Um, you, you don't have to start building... Uh, buildings and stuff like that or homes and that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when you get on your bike and you go somewhere, I want to make sure that there's reasons why we're going. If, if you're in a settlement with a bunch of other people, then, um, then you have to go get supplies every once in a while and I hope those are the kind of missions we get. Basically, I want Walking Dead the video game and uh, I know we already have Walking Dead the video game, but I want to be able to to live it. You know what I mean? Not, not necessarily live through the story. I want to live it. I want to uh, have it be just as much as part of the gameplay as anything else. So yeah, that's how I feel about um, about Days Gone. And I have a feeling it's, it's going to have a good balance of story. Going to have a good balance of just open world exploration stuff to do. And uh, really, really fun and chaotic combat. Because when you have that many zombies running at you. And by the way, man, the tech behind that. I don't know how they do it because each one of those zombies looks real and there's literally like a hundred of them on the screen at the same time. So uh, I'm really, really impressed. Maybe even more than that, honestly. Um, really, really impressed with what they did with that game. And uh, tech-wise, uh, narrative-wise, well, I mean, I guess not really narrative-wise, but at least that story trailer did give me a, a bit of a excitement to see what exactly uh, the story is about. But I'm sure we're going to see a lot of that game, and I'm glad we got to see a full-on gameplay demo. Apparently, uh, apparently, Red Dead Redemption was supposed to finish the show. It was actually supposed to show off a demo of their <laughs> newly announced, or was supposed to be announced, Red Dead Redemption, or Red Dead whatever. And, um, and they didn't do it because in the demo... Uh, there was a there was a moment where somebody walked into a brothel or something and started shooting everyone, and started killing everyone or something, and obviously with the situation in Orlando, um, they decided you know what we're not going to showcase our game and put it in that light at least for now. Uh, we had no time to redo and make another demo in its in in replacement of that one, uh, so we took the decision we pulled out and we'll reveal that trailer later on. So um, Red Dead Redemption is real. It's com or Red Dead sequel is real. It's coming. Um, it's just a matter of when. So I would say probably um, maybe even Gamescom or just a random week in July, you could expect uh, you could expect some Red Dead announcements. And you better believe I'm going to be there reacting to it. But again, Days Gone is the news of the video. <laughs> so. Um, Looks great. Okay, let me know what you guys think about Days Gone. Let me know what you guys think about Red Dead. Whatever, fuck it. And uh, if you hate me, you know what to do. If you like me, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys all on the next one.